my name is Grace Kemp, and we're talking about will believers go through the tribulation. Um, in the church age, we preach the gospel of the grace of God. During the tribulation, what is preached is the gospel of the kingdom, the good news of Christ, the coming king, who will establish his kingdom, as opposed to the beast, uh, this, this uh, self uh, uh, serving dictator of Europe. Um, so it will be the good news that Christ is the coming king. Uh, why that difference? Uh, why is there a difference? Uh, something has happened. Uh, we're finished with the church age. The church is gone and we're in a new era called the tribulation time. And then Michael the archangel. There's a very interesting verse about him. Uh, 1 Thessalonians 4.16 says, The Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel. And in Daniel 12.1 it says, At that time, which I believe is at the time of the rapture, shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which stands for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that time. Now, Michael the Archangel is the, is the special custodian and angel that watches over Israel. And he's been basically out of sight, gone since the days of Daniel, that was 500 B.C. Uh, we haven't seen anything of Michael. He doesn't appear in the New Testament. He appears, however, at the rapture. He's, he's the one, uh, is the, the voice of the Archangel, when Christ calls his church to join him in the clouds and, and to go off to heaven. Um, so why does he suddenly get involved? Why? Because now we're back to the Jews, salvation being of the Jews. And as the uh, guardian angel of Israel, he is going to be active during the uh, tribulation. He will stand up, that great prince that stands for the children of thy people, that stands for the Jews. Suddenly he's uh, active. He is not uh, the angel over the church. And so suddenly at the time of the rapture, he's, he's active. Um, he's been a no-show in the church age, uh, but now he is. That shows me that the church is, has left and uh, uh, that he is now active during the tribulation, watching over Israel. The marriage supper of the Lamb takes place in Revelation 19, 7 to 9, when the church, the bride of Christ, marries Christ. Well, obviously, the church has to be there for the wedding, uh, so... Uh, uh, obviously, they, th that takes place during the tribulation on earth, so they are in heaven at that point. Uh, so therefore, they're not on earth going through the tribulation. And then on the heels of the wedding is the heavenly army. And the heavenly army is wearing fine linen, white and clean. Well, guess what? That's exactly how the, the clothing of the bride is des described, fine linen, clean and white. Uh, we conclude that the Bride of Christ is also part of the heavenly army uh, that returns at the end of the tribulation. Christ comes back on a white horse in power and great glory as King of Kings and Lord of Lords. He's followed by the armies of heaven, which is undoubtedly uh, the church um, on white horses following him for the Battle of Armageddon. Well, obviously they're not on earth because they're in heaven and they're coming back. He said he will come at the com second coming. He's coming with his saints, all right? Not for his saints. He, he rescued them at the rapture. He's coming back with them. And Christians are exhorted to be watching and waiting for Christ's return, waiting for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, wait for the Son from heaven, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. If we're going through the tribulation, we'd be... be we would be told to watch for the rise of the beast, uh, watch for the rise of the Antichrist, the, uh, the Jewish uh, false prophet, but nowhere to wait for, for the, our King Christ to return from heaven at the rapture. Um, the fact is, uh, the rapture could happen soon. The tribulation will be, be upon us, and are you ready? Uh, the main thing is to make sure you know Christ, uh, that you're a child of God, you're a born-again believer, uh, if you need help with a prayer, go to my website, www.scriptureseries.com, and pray the sinner's prayer, which is included there. God bless you.